the gallbladder is a small sac that sits under the liver and its purpose is to store the bile that's being made by the liver. And we use bile to help digest the fats in our, in our diet. Now most people can develop gallstones over time as these stones move within the gallbladder um, and out to the cystic duct and out to the common bile duct, they create pain. Um, but typically what happens is that this gall, the gallstones can get lodged within the cystic duct and that creates an obstruction. So then what happens is that the gallbladder wall can become inflamed and swollen and then this leads to an infection. I felt a lot of nausea and just this, a lot of chest pain. I didn't think it was my gallbladder at first. I was, I was thinking it was maybe acid reflux or something, so I let it go on for a while. When Dr. Rodriguez saw me for the first time, it was my first day of work, and we let him know, I let him know that I wasn't feeling too good. He saw me and he found out that it might have, it might be gallstones. So I decided to do an examination on her, and uh, on exam, she had a swelling on the right upper quadrant of her abdomen. It was exquisitely tender, which made me think of a gallbladder disease. So we decided to do an ultrasound here in the clinic, and it did confirm my suspicion. She had an inflamed gallbladder wall, and she had a gallstone lodged within the cystic duct. I decided to go ahead and admit her to the hospital. I did start her on some IV fluids, some IV antibiotics, uh, and consult with a surgeon. So that same day, the surgeon evaluated her and took her to the OR. She underwent a laparoscopic cholecystectomy, which is removal of the gallbladder, and she did well postoperatively. She was ready to go home within a couple of days. Today, I'm doing a whole lot better. I'm back to eating regular foods, back to my normal everyday routine. My experience with Dr. Rodriguez as a doctor and also as his employee, it's, it's been great. He's a wonderful doctor. He takes the time to get to know his patients. He's very thorough. I'm just grateful that Dr. Rodriguez was able to catch it sooner before it got any worse.